was in the corresponding fixture last year at the same venue that key Galway forward Joe Rabbit took a blow to the head, an injury that threatened to bring about a premature end to his career. But thankfully he made a good recovery, played during the National League and was looking forward to returning to championship action. Yeah, it's here again. Joe, a strange kind of anniversary for you. What are your feelings? <laughs> this was, um, I had an unfortunate incident here last year and um, looking forward to the game, hoping that well, Roscommon uh, have led back from injury and they're, they're going to put up a good show, we expect this year, you know, so um, hopefully we'll get away and get, get through the game without any more injuries. Sadly, the fallout from last year meant there was a crowd of only 1,000, but new Roscommon manager Michael Keneally, the former Galway goalkeeper, had his charges ready to do themselves justice. Brendan Boyle opened the scoring with a free for Roscommon. And then Dara Cohn, Galway's sharpshooter, got the first of his big tally, 113, 10 points from freeze. But back came Roscommon for a lovely score. And it was left foot forward Teddy Galvin who put that one over. So, two points apiece after four minutes of play. We move on now to the eighth minute. And Michael Coleman, Galway's experienced midfielder, drives forward for a point that gives his team a lead of five points to two. Dara Cohen then shot a point from play for Galway and a free. But Cullum Kelly came back with this reply, a point from a free for Roscommon. One four he would score in this match, including two points from freeze. Now, 20 minutes gone, Mickey Kniff, the Roscommon captain, puts in a sideline ball that's finished to the net by top of the right, Pat Regan, and suddenly Roscommon are back in business. The score now, Galway, eight points, Ross, one goal and three. Nigel Shotnessy then came into the Galway midfield to replace the injured Michael Coleman, and that would be significant because Coleman's craft and leadership would be badly missed by Galway. Then a lovely pass by Joe Rabbit to Kevin Broderick, and the all-star forward fired over a morale-boosting point. Galway simply couldn't curb the dominance or the influence of big Cullum Kelly, and here he struck a marvellous long-range point to bring his side closer. Galway nine points, Roscommon won four. Back came Galway, and from a good ball by Kevin Broderick and a lovely pass by Joe Rabbit, Alan Kearns finished to the net, left-handed from close range. The Galway supporters in the Hyde Park crowd thought that was a lot better. And after a point apiece, the score stood at half-time. Galway won 12, Roscommon won 8. On the restart, Roscommon got the first three points. That one from play by Brendan Boyle. A point from a free by Cullum Kelly. And then a good score by left-half forward Liam Murray a score that showed the kind of pressure that the Galway backs were now under. Fullback Liam Hodgins went for that ball. It was knocked away from him by Adrian Kelly, and Liam Murray popped over the rebound. Some anxious moments for Galway, but midfielder Martin Kenny showed the art of pointing a sideline cut. Watch here for a great catch by Joe Rabbit. A good layoff to Alan Kearns. A good run by Alan Kearns. Here he has to improvise. Does so very cleverly. And Dara Cohen finishes the ball to the Roscommon net. Then Francis Ford opened his account with a lovely point from the left wing. But back came Roscommon again. Mickey Kniff the sideline cut again. Brendan Boyle, a tremendous finish for a goal. Francis Ford with another point for Galway to steady the Galway nerves. Michael Keneally was asking his men to push forward. Ross Common got a penalty. Cullum Kelly the man to take it. And with urgency and power, he drove it to the Galway net. Yes, an 11-point win in the end for Galway. One always wonders about these matches, just exactly what was the value of Galway's performance.